What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel, Bitcoin Daily. Today we are reviewing some live trades. So basically what we're doing is we're taking 0.1 Bitcoin and turning it, turning it into one Bitcoin. And we're gonna try to do that live for you guys, uh, showing you the process of it and how we're slowly grinding that up. All right, so we started with, with 0.1 Bitcoin. We're currently at about 0.11 or 0.12, something like that. Um, so yesterday we took a few trades and uh, that were successful. Uh, we ended up doing around over $100 profit. I'm not sure exactly how much we did yesterday, but we did do over $100 profit yesterday. Exchange that we're trading on is Bybit, similar to BitMEX. Uh, the reason we left BitMEX was because of the whole KYC thing. So if you're having the same issue, uh, you could come over to Bybit. They currently have a deposit bonus of up to $500, uh, depending on how much you deposit. Uh, just use the link in the description and you'll be able to get that bonus. So that's pretty much it guys. Enjoy the video. Peace. What is going on ladies and gents? So today, right now what we're doing, we're doing some live trading. Um, so I wanted to, um, to enter this position live on camera, but the position came up real fast and we had to just kind of enter, you know how that goes. So, um, so I'm going to just kind of catch you guys up on what happened. Um, this is the account that we're, that we're continuing. Remember, we started doing that 1 BT, that 0 0.1 BTC to 1 BTC challenge. So we're trying to go from 0 0.1 Bitcoin to a full Bitcoin. Um, this is the account we transferred over from uh, BitMEX over to Bybit. As we told you guys, we are now using Bybit. Uh, if you guys are interested in joining up with Bybit, we have a link on the bottom. Um, you guys can feel free to use that. You get a deposit bonus up to $540, I believe it is, um, depending on how much you deposit. Um, and we have a tutorial on how to use Bybit, how to make the trades and all that. So you guys can watch that. It's on our channel. Um, so let's jump into what it is that we're looking at here. So um, you can see currently we're up about nine, ten percent, about eighty-two dollars. Uh, our entry price here was fifteen thousand twenty-three. Um, our liquidation price is thirteen seven twenty, but, but that doesn't matter because we do have um, a stop in place. Um, and that's basically it. So let, let me kind of go over, you know, what we did, what we saw, et cetera, et cetera. So right now we're in the five minute chart because we're kind of, we're scalping this position. So that's why we're zoomed in so much, but let's, let's zoom out a bit to, to get a look at the bigger picture to see what's going on. Right? So this morning, um, Bitcoin shot up. Well, first it dropped, it dropped at it looks like, uh, 8 AM we had a drop down to the low was 15,175 it's currently where it's at right now um, and then it just took off right we had this one big candle uh, it went all the way up to 15,887 so it basically went to that test at 16,000 again but got rejected as you guys can see here so the next four hours we we're just dropping 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 it was all red then so what we're looking for that we talk about all the time is a bounce right so we don't want to catch a falling knife. We want to catch it when it's bouncing back up. So, um, you know, we, we had at first we had uh, orders set up on top of 15,400. Then it kept going down. So we set up orders on top of 15,200. Then it continued down. So that gave us the opportunity to get the ideal entry, which is about uh, right above 15,000, right? So we, we wanted that 15,000, that psychological whole number entry, but we didn't want to buy it on the way down. As you can see, if you would have bought on the way down, you would have got stopped out because it went all the way down to 14,825. So that would have stopped you out. Well, we did instead, we, wa we waited patiently. We're patient. We watched it go all the way down. And then we waited for that bounce. So once once it goes down and we start seeing it bounce back up, we're like, all right, let's zoom in a bit, right? So we start to zoom in to the 30 minute and the five minute window, and we're looking for a bounce over 15,000. So we, we set up our buy stops above 15,000. 
you'll see here we got triggered at 15,023 um, because we figured if it cr if it bounces back up and it goes from you know uh, 825 back over 15k um, it'll come up with momentum so now we're catching that bounce with momentum which is exactly what we want and 15,000 is that support so seeing that this candle this one hour candle closed on top of 15,000 is you know beautiful so that means that support held it's tested it it held and it's bouncing so we just caught that bounce as you guys can see here we're up 12 percent a hundred dollars so we've made a hundred dollars on this trade already so we entered here at 1523 uh, and as you can see this is around the can this is probably the candle that we entered or this one one of these candles um, and it's just been going 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 now our first target is 15,200 which is exactly where it's at right now uh, so we've slowly been moving up our thing so I like to keep it under certain candles so we're keeping it up under this five minute candle now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it up under this candle minimum right uh, unless I want to keep it very very tight so I'm gonna just confirm that we're watching here to see if we do break this uh, 200 area it's currently at 15 197 so what we can do here we can take partial profits right so we want to take 25% uh, profits so here at 200 we're gonna go ahead and sell 2,000 10 contracts right so we're up we're up a uh, hundred over a hundred dollars at this point right on this trade we we filled this trade let me see I'll tell you exactly what time we filled it you guys can see everything 11 38 a.m. so in one hour we have done over a hundred dollars profit all right, so let's try to set it up at 15 to 25, right? All right, so we set our order for 225. Let's see if it hits. Boom, entire order has been filled. So we have now taken some profits off the table, right? So we're up over 100, took profits. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab this, our stop loss and move it under this candle, under the low of, the, of this one right here. And we're going to keep writing this up as long as possible basically so that's the whole idea we want to just continue writing this uh these candles the five in the five minutes so when we're scalping we're looking at five minute charts and we want to continue writing our stop loss which is not our trail stop under these five minute candles um if it breaks down we'll take profits we're fine with it you know it's all good um if it continues up we're going to just continue writing it up you know what i mean so our next target here is 15,400. But as this candle continues up, we're gonna also continue writing it up. We're not just gonna, you know, leave our stop all the way down here. We wanna just continue writing this up. So um, that's what we're doing right now. As you can see, we're up now about $90 plus a 21. So that's about over $110 profit, more or less. Uh, so we're doing pretty good pretty good all right so there's a new candle right so what we're gonna do we're gonna grab this now and move it right under that 200 level so we we fall under 200 it's all good we're gonna take profits and we're good with that if it keeps going then we keep going so that's basically what we're looking at right there right so we explained why we entered, how we entered, we explained our, where we're taking profit, how we're taking profits, where we're taking profits, and what we're doing with our trust stops. Um, and now it's just, it's just a game of waiting. There's nothing for us to do at this point. Now we do have another trade going. I'm going to show you the other trade we have. So we have over $100 profit here. And here on Ethereum, we have... Um, $32 profit so we have about $30 so that's uh, that's like what 130 140 in profit on two trades so let's talk about this trade this trade is basically the same thing um, let's zoom out a bit 
Let's zoom out to the one hour. All right. So as you guys can see, this morning we had it had the same exact drop at 8 a.m. Right. So we had a we went down to a low of 441 and a high of 449. Then we took off and we hit a high of 460.80. Now the crazy thing about this one, we had a buy entry, right, set up here, but it did not trigger. Now the reason it didn't trigger is because our buy entry was above this high. You see this high right here? Look, look over here, this is where it says the high, 461.40. We put our buy entries at 461.50, right? So because of that, that's what saved us from stopping out, like from triggering, we would have triggered and then we would have stopped out. Cause look at this drop. As soon as it would have triggered you, boom, stopped you out. That's why we use highs, right? Cause we want to try to avoid these fake outs and try We're trying to avoid getting stopped out like this. So it, we become, we win more trades in the long term, make more profits. So what we did here, once we saw this drop, first we, we were happy we didn't get triggered. Um, but once we saw this drop, we played it the same exact way we played Bitcoin. We watched it drop, drop, drop. Then once we saw it bouncing back up, we're like, okay. So where I want to enter is above a resistance usually or a support. So 440 was that number that I liked because when I looked back on this 440 number, there's always a lot of price action. Look, once it broke 440 here, look, look how it just took off. When it broke 440 here, look how it dropped. 440 playing a big role here look all this price action at 440 when it finally took it when it finally broke it took off so there's a lot of price action at 440 that's how I decided that 440 was a number that I wanted in order to enter so same idea as trading as a Bitcoin trade we took the entry above 440 with momentum and now it's at 445 um, the high that it's gone is 445 45 lots of 45s there now what we're gonna do same thing that we're doing with Bitcoin we're gonna keep raising these stops right so we're gonna raise this right under this low and this is on the hourly so on the hourly it's even safer so if you want to be more conservative I mean not more conservative you want to be you know uh, avoid getting stopped out you can use the hourly you know, if you want to be a little bit more conservative, more aggressive with your stops, you can use a 30 minute. So if I'm using the 30 minute, then my stop has to be up here, right? Um, and if you want to be, you know, just in it, zoned in all the way, zoomed in all the way, then this is where you, the five minute candle is, is when that comes into play. So here you would move your stop basically all the way up here, right? 444-ish. Um, so you can move it either here, 443, or all the way up here. So we're just gonna move it right under 444, that that whole number, in case it does come back come back down. We want to give ourselves a little bit of room to continue up because our our target, our main target for this trade, is 460. Wait, no, for, for this one, I'm sorry. Our main target is 450, so we haven't hit that target yet. So, because we haven't hit it, we haven't taken. We're not taking profit yet. But what we are always doing is trailing with our stop. So we're up already. You know, we're up four percent, thirty bucks. I'll take. I'll take the thirty dollars. I'll take twenty dollars. You know, I'll take the take the profits. Don't be greedy. So I'm going. I'm going to be watching this trade and trailing it. You know, constantly. The same way I'm doing with Bitcoin right now. I'm just constantly trailing. If we get stopped out, it's fine. We'll take the win and we'll move on to the next trade. So that's currently what we're doing right now. Uh, we might get stopped out of this trade, but that's how the game goes. We just did uh, 
basically $100 on this trade and $30 on the Ethereum trade. So that's $100, $130 profit in one hour of trading. We, um, we put this trade up in our trade rooms and we signaled them, signaled them, both of them in our trade room. So everybody in our group got these trades, made some money, depending on their account size, their position size, etc., etc., is how much they make. But uh, we all did, we all should have done over 10% profit or 12% profit, just depends. But between 12, uh, 10 to 15% profits probably is, is what every, everyone did on this trade. Um, we're still on the, in the Ethereum trade, but it looks like we're probably going to get stopped out here. If we do, we're good with it. We took our profits, take some more profits here, did over 10% profit. Cha-ching. These are scalps, scalp trades. Right? So these are the quick ways to make 100 bucks here, 100 bucks there. Uh, and then as you scale up your, your bankroll, then that $100 turns to $500. That $500, you know, as you grow your bankroll, can turn into $1,000. So you can literally be making $1,000 in an hour taking scalps, right? You just have to know what you're doing, follow the rules, practice proper risk management, and you could easily make $1,000 in an hour taking trades like this. All right. So what we're doing here, Remember, we're trying to grow this account, as you guys can see here. We're playing with a, with an account with $1,700 right now. The goal is to grow this account to one Bitcoin. But yeah, we'll update you guys if there's a another move. But that's pretty much it for right now. Alrighty, guys. Welcome back. So we did get into another trade. Um, so let me, let's review it and uh, talk about it. So um, the original trade, like we told you guys, was that uh, 15k break, right? So that was the original tr the, f the original trade we took. Boom, took that, rolled that up to 152. That was our first uh, target. Um, and then at 15,200, you see there was a lot of you know up and down, up and down, up and down. So we ended up trailing. Uh, we ended up taking profits. First of all, we took profits above fifteen thousand two hundred. I think at fifteen thousand two hundred and twenty-five, and then um, we ended up trailing out on one of these uh, dips, right? So, um, so we were fine with that. Then we just kind of watched it from there, um, and we saw it finally start moving. But then we saw this huge pullback. Then we saw it move again, and uh, eventually we decided um as long as it continued going up we're gonna scalp this next entry above 15,300 so that's exactly what we did you'll see here that we got our fill at 15,303.50 uh for 8,419 contracts um and we're currently up about five percent six percent six and a half percent ish uh 56 dollars we already have 81 dollars in profit so 81 and 50, that's going to be $130 on two trades. Plus we have the $30 from the Ethereum trade uh, in profit. So that comes out to $160 more or less right now. Um, so you see, we have our stop. We had set up our stop down here. Um, so we're going to move the stop up right under this candle. Here we go. You see, we just got rejected at uh, 15,400. So what we're going to do, we're moving, we're moving our stops up under this um, candle right here. And if we do get over that uh, 15,400, then we're going to move our stop even more. So what we're going to do right now, going to do a limit order to take some profits here at 200. So again, we want to take 25% profits, right? 2,104 contracts is what we're going to sell. Uh, we, it might not even, yeah, we're going to trail out here. It looks like let's see let's see what happens here because if we trail out then we don't even need to uh, make this order we're gonna sit and wait here um we'll update you guys in a second i don't want to keep dragging this video on all right guys so it looks like as you guys can see here we j we're just able to take profits um so you saw how that worked right so just to review what just happened 
Um, so we set our stops. We moved it up right under this five minute candle um, under the low of it, right? So the low of it was, what's the low here? 15,370. And then this one went down to 15,370, the same exact number, right? So we would have put it anywhere close to a, a 15,400, we would got stopped right out. If we were to put it any closer, we would got stopped right out because we're at 15,369, literally right under the low of this one. And that's exactly where the next candle went and it bounced. So it bounced right there and this one bounced. So that's why we use these levels on the five minute chart when we're looking for, um, you know, places to, um, you know, move our trail stops to. So now with this next candle, uh, we want to see this go up and over 400 and kind of stay there. And uh, if we can make that happen, <clears throat> then we will move our stops above, I mean, uh, above where we're currently at, right under 400. And we'll be okay with, you know, if we get stopped out at 400 or whatever, that'll be fine. Um, we'll look for a new entry if it continues up. But um, definitely we always want to be taking profits. So that's one thing that's very important. And now we're just going to continue what we've been doing, continue trailing this move, uh, continue trailing these five minute candles. Um, and just continue taking in profits as you guys can see here daily realized PL uh, $94 plus we have another $40 uh, currently unrealized PL uh, that we're just sitting on right now. So, um, plus we have the uh, Ethereum uh, $30, 30 or $20 that we uh, took on that. So, that gives us a total of let's see, $94. 94 and 40 that gives us uh, 133 plus another 30 163 ish we're around there we're around the 160 range right now so um, we've only been trading for a few hours guys and we've made 160 dollars with this uh, pretty pretty small account right uh, this is a $1,700 account here started this account with around a thousand dollars and we've slowly been just uh, grinding it up that's why people people get uh, they start gambling because they want to see huge numbers you know guys we're only here look at this look at these profits $37 or it's between 37 to 45 dollars is our profit here uh, but we already have $94 so we've been taking small profits and we've just been grabbing these profits and continuing up you know and then as we continue building the account we make our position size a little bit bigger and then you know grab profits again so now we're, we're up above 150 dollars on the day we've only been trading for like two hours so um if you can do that every day just just think about making a hundred dollars a day if you can make a hundred dollars a day in 30 days of trading that's three thousand dollars you know what i mean um, in two months of trading at six thousand in three months that's nine grand more or less and obviously you're not going to make a hundred dollars every single day every single day you're not going to win every single trade but let's say uh half of that you know so even half of that in three months uh forty five hundred dollars you have to think in a more long-term approach you know and then just continue to compound uh you know the, the profits that you're making now you see here we have another takeoff look at this Look at this move, guys. So what do we do? We move our trail stops up. Boom. Boom. Look at our profits. $61. Plus that. Easy, easy money, guys. Look at this move. So now we're just chilling right here. We're right under this, this uh, five minute candle. Um, as soon as this one closes, the next one opens up. Depending on the price movement, if we stay above this 450 area, then we're going to go right under that 450 if we jump above that 500 area we're gonna go above five we're gonna go right below 500 we're just gonna keep trailing this um, and that's how you maximize uh, your profits that's how you maximize these moves so um, 
we're we're looking at about uh, 150 160 dollars profit right now plus uh, ethereum's 30 dollars that's almost we're almost at 200 dollars profit right now guys so uh we'll update you in a few once this move decides once this move decides where it's gonna go Alrighty, guys just updating you on what happened here so we did trail out let's go to our field we're recording another video that's why we had to took a bit to do it um so you can see here that we had took profits right at uh 15,400 we took profits and then we trailed out at 15,383 with the remaining position um at 14:38 so about 20 minutes ago um but yeah guys we so we've done almost $200 in profit uh just with those trades today we took two bitcoin trades one ethereum trade and uh that's made us that's netted us about two hundred dollars in profit for the day within a span of less than four hours we've done about two hundred dollars profit um it's not that difficult guys you see you see our equity is going up slowly but surely we're going to turn this 0.1 bitcoin into one full bitcoin guys it's showing you guys that it is possible with a thousand dollars to turn that into a full bitcoin which is currently worth fifteen thousand dollars so we're trying to make turn one thousand dollars or more or less fifteen hundred dollars into fifteen thousand dollars that is a goal that we're going for so um thanks guys appreciate you guys for taking your time and and watching this hopefully you guys learned something hopefully it's it, it starts clicking in your mind because that's what trading is all about it's just eventually it starts to make sense and it something clicks and it's like why didn't i realize this before and you know like trading is not that complicated people just make it complicated for themselves because they don't have they don't have a, a set of rules and system that they want right they're just trying to trying to figure out what's the magic pill or you know technical indicator to figure out all these things when there really isn't anything like that like it's mostly based on price action that's where it, that's where it keeps trading simple um you know if you if you just can learn price act to, to trade price action and not what you think what your opinions on the price is uh, and learn to trade uh, based on patterns and probability and use tight stops and just continue, you know, entering trades and things like that. Like it's all discipline guys. Th this will turn you into a profitable trader. I promise you guys. So um, that's basically it guys for this video. Uh, we showed you in less than four hours, we did about $200 profit. Um, and we're gonna continue making these videos and at least uploading one a week uh, until we hit that goal, until we complete the challenge of 0 0.1 to one full Bitcoin. All right, guys, thank you very much. Peace and love. Alrighty, guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys got something out of it. Um, you know, that's why we do these videos to continue growing this community and, and growing and, you know, giving out that knowledge for free on our YouTube channel. That's what we're striving to do. So please, guys, subscribe to the channel and hit that like. It helps us to continue to reach more people every time you do that. Um, question of the day is... I haven't even thought about the question of the day. Ah, uh, question of the day, question of the day. <sighs> question of the day is... I have no idea, guys. I can't even remember what the video's about at this point. Question of the day is, are you guys subscribed to our channel? Have you liked this video? And have you liked our previous video? That is a question of the day. <laughs> Peace and love, guys.